<laughs> Jeff Cole, what was the best part of interviewing Monty Brown? Monty had so much energy. Uh, you know, it, 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 he just, and he's, it's not just wrestling character. That's him as a person. Like when you're around him, you just feel upbeat. Uh, uh, you see, you put it, a smile goes, it's the same thing with Ron Simmons, right? You see, Ron, boom, big smile goes on your face. It's automatic. Uh, people seem like, <laughs> but uh, Monty would bring so much energy, you know, doing, doing those back. When you're sitting there doing interview after interview after interview backstage, and you get, I'm going to give 100%. I'm like, rah, 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 rah. And it becomes like almost cliche. But with Monty, you, you always know he's going to build to a crescendo at some point. And it was fascinating to listen to him because he would come from a little bit different direction each time, but you knew where it was going to go. And so like, you, you're just waiting for it, waiting for it. Boom. Here it go. Okay. Here comes the line. Right. Uh, he was fun. And, and, and his personality is so ebullient that it, it, it boys you when you're bored. Cause you've done 20 of these already. And then here comes my, okay, good, good. This was going to be fun. Uh, yeah, he was always he, just a good dude. Uh, you know, and I, 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 he's one of those guys that I always wonder, like, wh whatever happened to him? Like, he, I, I haven't seen him in years. And like, when you do see him, it's going to be years again before you do see him. Uh, it, it, you know, it, just when I think of Monty, like, much like Ron and, uh, and, and Steamer and other, yeah, uh, Jim Duggan, as soon as you think of those names, boom, the smile goes on your face because you just have great, great memories of being around them. And Monty was very much that for me. And, and at the time he was, you know, brand new coming into the business. So, uh, you know, he, he always, plus we, we stand there waiting to, you know, the camera wasn't ready, uh, you know, waiting for something to get set over from the office. Uh, and we would just sit there and talk. He struck me as somebody that was very, very eager to learn the business. He was trying. And that re gets respect for me because it already, like I said a million times, our business ain't easy to learn. And, you know, being a former pro football player, okay, that's great. It's a big plus. But there's been a lot of football players that haven't quite transitioned. Uh, you know, so for him to, to, to see him coming in and take and he didn't come in like, I'm a big star, I'm a former NFL player, and like, I'm going to show you guys a thing or two. He came in completely disarming, understanding this is a new genre, a new venue, and lots to learn. Uh, but just his personality is is just one that just you know, puts a smile on your face as soon as you hear his name. I remember Monty Brown very well, because I was watching TNA a lot. We had the wrestling channel. We got TNA in all the time. <clears throat> and... Man, he was just one of the few proper TNA homegrown talents. I mean, yes, you can say AJ Styles starting WCW, but he didn't. Yes, he did. But yeah. I mean, you yeah. know, like Samoa Joe, you'd say Ring of Honor as well. But, you know, Samoa Joe, AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, a couple of others, amazing red back in the day. Monty yeah. Brown, he was one of those proper TNA homegrown talents. I just thought the, the sky, you know, the sky was the limit for him. And yeah. where did he disappear? Was it a family thing that he just left the business? Yeah, I, I, I'm clueless because it's, you know, again, like we, you, as many conventions and signings and appearances that we make, you usually run into, it might be a year or two, but you usually run into the same faces over and over again. And his is one that I haven't seen in quite a while. Uh, I did see him somewhere. I'm, I'm thinking like in the last four or five years, but that was it. Like since TNA, that was the, the only time I'd seen him. And so if any of the fans out there, again, you know, not you have the address, uh, uh, what is it? Shane Douglas questions dot com. Uh, yes, or almost. Uh, Shane Douglas questions at gmail dot com. So if you want to contact gmail, the show gmail. for anything other than sending in a question, you can do it that way as well. Please, yeah, I'd, I'd be curious to hear. And if any any of the guys out there know, the next time I see you, please let me know because uh, I'd love to run into Monty again. Yeah, good guy. <laughs>